Hi guys, welcome to today's makeup tutorial featuring this super smoky halo makeup look. I hope you enjoy the video. If you do, please give me a like and please subscribe. Thank you. Hi guys, so to start off this look, I'm going to go in with the Primark Nude Glow Illuminating Highlighting Drops. I'm just going to pop this as a base on my face. And I'm just going to mix it with the Bondi Sands Gloss Finishing Glow. And I really like applying this underneath my foundation because it gives my skin a really glossy look. So I've just popped that as a base. And then I'm going to go in my usual Matte and Poreless Foundation in the shade 250. I'm then going to go in with my Primark Matte Foundation, this is a double coverage one and this is a good few shades darker than my natural skin colour so I'm just going to use this as a natural kind of contour as you can tell it is a little bit darker than my skin so it just creates more of a natural glowy look Then for my concealer, I'm just going to go in with my e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer and this is a really good dupe for the Too Faced one. I'm just going to pop this where my bags are because they are dark at the minute. Then to set my face I'm just going to go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder and I'm just going to set where I've done that concealer I'm definitely focusing not on my under eyes because they are definitely in the area that creases the most on me and then underneath my jaw and then because I'm going to be doing my eyes, I'm going to go in and just do my bronzer now because I want to set where I put that foundation. And then for bronzer, I'm just going to go in with the Morphe Hi-Fi palette. And I'm just taking the shade Donut and Debutante. Just lightly brushing over where I've done my contour. This is just going to set that foundation colour in place and then I'm just going to pinch the brush and just do it down the sides of my nose really lightly and just bring the colour up just that and that is the face makeup set into place then for my eyes I'm going to go in with the Carnival XL Pro Palette from Stacey Marie and Be Perfect Cosmetics and I'm just going to be using these shades on this side here and to start off with, I'm going to go in with the shade Slow Down, which is that top shade there. And I'm just going to use that in my crease area, so I'm just going to zoom you in. So I'm just taking that Slow Burn colour. I'm just going to pop that into my crease. And this has just got a really nice burnt orange brown colour to it, as you can see. And this is just going to be the transition shade. And then I'm just going to focus that in the crease. And don't worry if you do bring it too far down. Next I'm just going to take the whole shade from the Stacey Marie palette and I'm just going to pack that all over my lid just creating the transition base colour. I'm 
And I'm just taking a denser Zoeva soft definer brush and I'm just going to pop that closer to my inner corner. And this is just going to help pack on a bit more colour. Just really deepen that colour. And then again I'm just going to go in and just blend that out slightly. And just blending it upwards into my crease. I'm just smoking it out on the sides because I do want this to be quite a smoky look. I'm going to go back in with the soft definer brush for the Zoeva collection and I'm just going to take the shade Intuition which is a really deep brown and I'm just going to pack this on the outer corners of my eyes just like that and I'm just going to make this more of an angled look. And I'm just going to bring that into the crease and then just softly bring it in. That's the one thing with the Stacey Marie palette, the pigmentation is so good in all of her colours. And this is one of the first Be Perfect products I've tried and I'm so impressed. And then I'm going to take the fluffy brush again and I'm just going to blend out that smoky shade. And just blend out that crease colour. Because I want this to be a really, really smoky one, I don't mind going in and just really defining it. If you do go too far in, you can just take a clean blending brush and just buff out those edges just so there's no harsh lines. I really want to bring that product quite far in here. So, And then I'm just going to take that soft definer brush again. I'm going to go in with a slow burn colour and just take that underneath my eyes. And this is quite a big brush but I want this to be quite dramatic so... I don't mind going in with such a dense brush. And this is just really going to tie in the whole makeup look. And then the next product I'm going to take is the Peaches and Cream Glitter Base product. And the two colours I'm going to be using today is the shade Famous by Peaches and Cream which is a super glittery colour and then I'm going to take the You Glit Me Up colour by Rude I think the brand is. I got this in a shop in Belfast I'm not too sure but it's just a super glittery thick kind of glitter it's like a chunky glitter um, compared to the Peaches and Cream ones just going to pop a bit of that onto a brush. So I'm going to take the Peaches and Cream base. Just going to pop that in the centre of my eye. Just like so. And bring that up. All the way. And just blend that out with my finger. You don't have to use your finger. I just prefer to use my finger. And I'm just focusing it on the centre. Just like that. And then I'm just going to do the same on the other eye. And if you wanted to apply it underneath, you can as well. I might try it. I'll try and apply it underneath and see how it looks. Just taking a tiny bit of the product. I'm popping it underneath there. Now 
now because I'm just going to do my mascara on my brows and I'll be back. So I've just popped on my Sosu lashes in Paris and I'm just going to... So then for the rest of my face makeup I'm going to go in with the Doll Light Highlighter. So I'm just taking the Doll Light Highlighter and I'm just popping that on the highest points of my cheekbones. Just like so. And this is a really nice golden colour and I just like to apply it to the highest points of my face and I'm just going to apply it on my cheek on my brow bone too and that is just going to help tie in that look all together and then on top of that I'm going to go in with the Fenty Beauty Diamond Veil How Many Carrots Body Highlighter and I'm just going to pop that gently on top. These are like literally my favourite combo because this one gives it like a glass finish and the other one gives it more of a golden highlighted look. And then I'm going to go in with a bit more of my Morphe bronzer and I, help, I feel like this helps tie in the highlight and the bronzer together. And I'm just going to go in and contour a tiny bit more with those two colours and just bring it up into the eyeshadow. And then for lips I'm just using my usual um, Maybelline Matte and Polis. It's literally my favourite liquid lipstick, that and the Jeffree Star ones. So I'm just going to go over this one which is the Amazonian one from Maybelline. I'm just going to go over it with Celebrity Skin from Jeffree Star. And just really focus this one in the middle. And then just to finish off this look I'm going to go in with the Victoria's Secret Get Gloss Lip Gloss. And if you want to make this look even more dramatic you can go in with a black coal liner. I'm just going to go in with the Lancome Lee Crayon Coal in Neo. And it just adds like an instant smoky effect. And if you do want it to be more smoky you can just go in and smoke it out some more if you want to and just kind of bring it in to close off that halo and then last but not least I'm just going to go in with some of my setting spray as usual And this is the finished makeup look. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. If you did, please give me a like and please subscribe. Thank you.